We are showing the Watson Empowered Harbour Master. It's about uh, traffic planning and traffic control in the port area. Because there's 100 seagoing vessels visiting our port every day. And there's lots of planning involved. And uh, lots of taking into account about the weather and the water conditions for how and when the ships can come in. And uh, that's what we're showing here. Uh, how Watson is helping us make other and better decisions uh, in the future of the port. Well, there's a standard definition for a digital twin that's a virtual representation of an object or a system uh, in which you can of course do simulations and scenarios. Um, but the digital twin of a port is, is kind of different. Not only does it have uh, the 3D dimensions and of course the um, uh, dy dynamic uh, status or conditions that you measure with sensors, but what's really important in the port area that there's actually millions of digital twins in the port area which also have a location context. And so it's like um, uh, even more complicated than the standard uh, digital twin of just one object, it's everything combined. But if you look at it uh, more simply, the um, uh, digital twin of a port is about a macro scale. So what we want to accomplish with a digital twin of the port is that we can do scenarios on more macro scale, like how much information is going in and out of the port, how much cargo is going in and out of the port, but also how much carbon dioxide is going in and out of the port. It's about the bigger processes. And uh, so we can answer the questions for the future. What's the most efficient way to manage the port? How, how do we still exist in 30 years? And how can we facilitate autonomous vessels in the future? Um, we're using the Watson IoT platform from IBM to, um, to gather the, the sensor data for all the weather and the water conditions in the port right now. And with that data, uh, we have uh, access to also weather company models of weather and water and um, cognitive services. So what you see here is how Watson uses our sensor data to give advice on how a ship can enter our ports either the fastest way or the most environmental friendly way. Because those weather and water conditions really influence how a ship sails into our port. And by giving that advice, it's just an advice for the captain of a ship, we offer the choice to be more green or more fast.